Happy 420 from Can Delta. There's no better day to celebrate this positive impact the cannabis industry is having all over the world. Legalization is finally breaking into mainstream and the days of discrimination and crazy legal punishments are steadily coming to an end. It's taken a long time, but the stigma surrounding consumers and cannabis businesses are slowly dissolving and people are beginning to recognize the amazing benefits and opportunities that come along with legalization and adult use cannabis markets. Hi, I'm Dr. Lucas McCann. I'm the CSO of Can Delta. We're America's number one cannabis licensing firm. And today we'll be looking at the different ways you can start a profitable cannabis business and make the most out of this billion dollar industry. The recreational cannabis industry has only scraped the surface of what's possible and it's already proven to be very successful. On one hand, consumers are getting safe and reliable access to cannabis products and education. And on the other hand, cannabis is creating a significant business and employment opportunities in an economy that desperately needs it. This industry has already been on a massive success and it's only the beginning. Society is finally beginning to see its potential and you should too. The opportunity is especially right for folks who are considered social equity applicants. This means you have been impacted by cannabis criminalization or prohibition and are eager to come out on top as a legal cannabis business owner. As recreational markets come into fruition, some states have given priority to social equity applicants who usually get reduced fees and the first shot at licenses through unique application periods. Each state has different criteria for qualifying people as social equity. You can learn more about your state's requirements on CanDelta's website, linked below. If you qualify, the social equity programs are an amazing opportunity to launch one of the first cannabis businesses in your state and gain that first mover advantage. But regardless of whether you qualify for social equity, you'll still be able to apply for a license in a general application window. Recreational cannabis is currently legal in 24 states and medical cannabis is legal in 38. Some states like Ohio already have a medical cannabis market and adult use regulations are currently being established for licenses, which are expected to be issued soon. There's a huge opportunity to start as a medical cannabis business and transition to a recreational one down the road, which can have advantages like reduced fees and priority in recreational licensing. But even after legalization, regulators have made it very difficult to understand the different licenses and the activities that are associated with each. Let's simplify it now. There are broadly three different types of licenses that most folks will fall into, which are cultivation, processing, and retail dispensaries. Some states will have additional licenses like distribution, delivery, testing labs, consumption lounges, and maybe a few others. Deciding what types of businesses you want to start depends on a few different things. How much capital are you prepared to invest or do you have access to? Do you already have an existing business that might have similar activities that could transition into cannabis? And what are you most interested in or what are you best at? The Can Delta website details the different license types in each state and the activities associated with each. While you're doing this, be sure to take a look at the price tags attached to each license type for an application fee. Generally, each state will have a standardized application fee and a licensing fee that's required after the license is awarded. The licensing fees to tend to vary depending on the license type you're, uh, you're applying for. There are a few different ways you can go about generating the capital required to start your business. Whether it is working with a group of partners, finding investors, or even purchasing a pre-existing business. And if you're already a business owner, integrating cannabis into your current business model might be a lot easier than you think. If you're a smoke or vape shop owner, a convenience store owner, or a gas station operator, or other small business owner that already has a brick and mortar location, this is your opportunity to expand or convert your business into a growing market by getting a dispensary license. You already have a commercial space, experience working in a similar market, and employees that you trust with credibility in the community, that goes a long way. The same goes for folks who already own agricultural businesses or operate farms or nurseries. Cannabis cultivation will unquestionably be a profitable addition to your current business. Businesses in industrial food manufacturing, private kitchens, brewing companies, wineries, manufacturers, and labs of all kinds would benefit from getting a cannabis processing license or testing license. And for warehouse businesses, distributors, wholesales, and delivery services, and those in the logistics space who have the capacity to add cannabis to their operations in most cases should consider to do so. Adding cannabis to your business model could be a relatively low barrier option to expand your business and increase profits. If you're interested in learning more about the cannabis industry and where you can fit in, reach out to CanDelta today and be sure to follow our socials linked in the description. Don't miss next week's video and check out our podcast, Cannabis in Context. Thanks for tuning in. Happy 420. I'm Dr. Lucas McCann, signing off.